Hello. So today we have water crest. Is today's green? A little beat up because I washed the living daylights out of it. Yep. I washed all that poison off of there. Okay. So let's get going here. This is the video for beginners on how to juice greens, watercress, which is a video in a series on how to grease green greens that I'm making, all different greens. Today it's wa the watercrest's turn to get juiced. Now, in all these series on juicing greens, I repeat myself over and over again. Bear with me. But, like I mentioned before, this might be the only video that you watch of my juicing greens videos. So, I want you to get the information, and I guess if you watch more of my videos on juicing greens, it don't hurt to get this information ingrained in your brain, and speak about pesticides and herbicides that are sprayed on these conventional vegetables and greens and fruit. why you have to wash them very 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 well I particularly wash them vigorously three times in a pot full of water each time and then I rinse them in here so that's actually four times and I believe I'm getting off about as much of the herbicides and pesticides, which are poisons, as much as I'm washing off as much as I possibly can. I feel confident about that. And what I'm not washing off is the pesticide that is engineered into the DNA of this vegetable. That's through genetically modified organisms, GMO engineering. And the culprits, the major culprits, are Monsanto Corporation, DuPont, and Dow Chemical. But there are a lot of other organizations in the shadows that have a lot to do with it. And much government co corruption which enables them to continue doing it without even without labeling the product so you know at least you're getting GMO products. There's no way of knowing. There is a in effect, the labels, these are the labels that come on ve uh, fruits and vegetables. Now, if there's a five-digit number and the first number is an eight, you know if it's GMO. But I challenge, let's just take corn for instance, I challenge anybody to find the label on corn on the shelf uh, in your supermarket. See? And that is why we have to have legislation passed. And eventually, I believe we will take down Monsanto, eventually, but for the meantime, we are forced to ingest the pesticide that's in the DNA of this vegetable. Now, 
No telling yet. There's no telling. Nobody knows the damage that's going to be done by eating genetically modified organisms. Now, it's very serious as far as I'm concerned, you know. God made this earth. God created us. God created the vegetables, the animals, and the creatures. And now man is taking it upon himself to re-engineer what God has engineered. Okay? Who thinks he's God? Man thinks he's God. Okay, here we go. We're going to take the poison off the cucumber. This outer skin is oh, mega poisonous. So you want to get it out. You don't want your liver to have to struggle getting these poisons out of your body. Which you can't completely do. It's going to storm his fat. That's what's going to happen because the liver is already overloaded with us, with all the poisons and pesticides and pollution that we're taking in daily. So, my advice, if you can afford it, go out and buy yourself organic fruits and vegetables. This way you're going to avoid that, and you're going to get a more wholesome vegetable, better tasting vegetable, and a vegetable with more vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients. Now, let's slice up this cucumber. But, price it all said, organic vegetables is high. It's high. So, many of us cannot afford them. And we're stuck. Even though we'd like to, and we know better, we're stuck with these conventional vegetables. They're pretty. They're beautiful. Mmm, delicious, too. What are, you, what are we going to do? So each and every one of us has a responsibility to speak out and, and let it be known. The first step definitely is going to have to be labeling this stuff. I mean, other countries in the world do it. But see, the big problem in this country is that this country is a lot more corrupt than most countries. So, the politicians are all in cahoots with, with these companies, these big corporations. Not companies, they're corporations because we all know the corporations are the, they're the downfall of this country. <laughs> So, it's all about the almighty buck, not about the almighty, not almighty God, the almighty buck, and the all-seeing eye, everybody worships. So, another way to fight back is opt out, opt out of a lot of, uh, Buying into these corporations, so uh, you know, off out. There's a lot of ways to do that. Continue to do research. Okay. You really don't need that plastic. You get by on a lot of uh, a lot of things that are provided for us by nature. Now at this point in the juicing, I'm going to transport what I have already juiced. 
into a bowl jar the juices container preferred vessel for drinking juice and smoothies is a bowl jar so we pour this into the bowl jar and now we're going to juice the rest of these apples so the basic really the true basic juice is apples and carrots because they are interchangeable with all fruits and vegetables so get it but I use the uh, apples and cucumber because I'll tell you why the why I do that is because Carrots is a strong taste, and if if I'm gonna uh, make a base out of carrots and apples, I tell you I'm not gonna be able to taste that green. The green's gonna be totally wiped out by the taste. That carrot is a strong taste. Apples a strong taste. So a cucumber is not a strong taste. That green is a stronger taste than the cucumber. But the carrot is wipe out the taste of the green. So that is why I use the cucumber in my base. And the cucumber is magnificent in its own sense. In its own right. Superior for cleansing. One of the, one of the great cleansers. And the carrots, oh, oh you can, you know, vitamin C, vitamin A and stuff. Vitamin A, we don't have to really worry about too much. We're getting beta carotene, vitamin A, and all those greens is to the max. And we got a, that works nice with the vitamin C and the vitamin K. So, it's not imperative to use the carrot in that way. That's why I use the cucumber. And we're going to scoff off some of that foam. Pour this in here, back and forth. Mix that, cat, mix that apple juice well with the green. There, and there we have it. A quart and a third from of uh, watercress juice. Now, don't remember the re remember the recipe: four apples, one cucumber, and two heads of watercress. Here we go. Taste test. Really, really watercress, super duper health drink. Yes. 